Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Obama just given huge honor as real president of the United States for July 4th instead of Trump. It never ceases to amaze me how out of touch with reality Democrats and their party really are. In a $2,700 per plate event in lavish Beverly Hills, California to raise much needed money for the failing DNC, also known as the Socialist Party, Democratic National Committee Chairman Tom Perez had the task of introducing former President Barack Hussein Obama to the guests. And what ensued will leave you speechless. Let's give it up for the real President of the United States, Perez said as the former President walked out according to the news publication Politico. Via Politico. Do not wait for the perfect message. Don't wait to feel a tingle in your spine because you're expecting politicians to be so inspiring and poetic and moving that somehow, okay, I'll get off my couch after all and go spend the 15 to 20 minutes it takes for me to vote," Obama said in his first public comments in months, which only a few reporters and no cameras were allowed in for. Because that's part of what happened in the last election. I heard that too much. Boil it down, Obama said reiterating an argument he made on the campaign trail for Ralph Northam in 2017 about the existential challenge Trump poses to America. If we don't vote, then this democracy doesn't work. He almost accepted some of the blame for the state of the party, though he framed it less as the DNC atrophying from years of benign neglect while he was in the White House and being saddled with his re-election campaign debt and more as people making the mistake of falling too much in love with him. I'll be honest with you. If I have a regret during my presidency, it is that people were so focused on me and the battles we were having, particularly after we lost the House, that folks stopped paying attention up and down the ballot," Obama said. Obama stuck to his routine of never saying President Donald Trump's name in public, but he spoke at length about what his problems are with the Trump presidency, and why he thinks Democrats would be foolish to believe that they're in good shape to beat him just because they've been doing well in winning recent elections. Fear is powerful, Obama said. Telling people that somebody's out to get you, or somebody took your job, or somebody has it out for you, or is going to change you, or your community, or your way of life, that's an old story and it has shown itself to be powerful in societies all around the world. It is a deliberate, systematic effort to tap into that part of our brain that carries fear in it. He did not specifically discuss immigrant families being separated at detention centers. He did not discuss the travel ban or other rulings from the Supreme Court this week teed up gently but directly by DNC Chairman Tom Perez, who was seated next to him on a small stage asking questions to prompt the discussion, he dodged a question about Anthony Kennedy's retirement. Merrick Garland's name wasn't mentioned, and neither was the current push by most Senate Democrats, and supported by Obama's former Vice President Joe Biden, to say that Trump's nominee should also not be given a hearing until after the next election. No one mentioned Joe Crowley's shocker primary loss or the burst of youthful optimism and talk of socialism that Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's win has injected into democratic politics. He spoke only obliquely about the Me Too movement, saying that the current Republican leadership believes in women staying in their place in all kinds of ways. His only direct comments on current events were about the newspaper office shooting in Maryland earlier Thursday, which he said left him heartbroken but hopeful that people would see this one as the turning point to take action on gun laws. As he read his teleprompter at the event, Obama suggested there may have been something he did not do right during his two terms in office. Which according to him was that people were so focused on him and the battles he was having, especially after the Democrats lost the House, that folks stopped paying attention up and down the ballot. No sir, I would say that's just the opposite. After you people lost the House in 2010 mainly because you oversaw a government takeover of our healthcare system people started paying attention. They started to forget your skin color and the hype and they started to see your so-called summer of recovery never panned out. Of course, you were able to pull out a win in 2012 because Obamacare didn't kick in until 2013 on purpose because your side knew very well that if people knew the truth about the law they would have never elected you, no matter what the color of your skin is. But perhaps the worst thing this former president said during his speech is that Republicans fit the mold of the party of anger. Really? And who are the ones kicking people out of restaurants for being conservatives and tweeting nasty things about putting Baron Trump in a cage full of pedophiles? Conservatives? Not everyone agreed with Obama's ignorant statement. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.